Hello, I'm going to be making a video converting Jibber, a federated social network, to have a desktop version. So right now it's just mobile and we need to get it looking like this. So let's get started on that. This is what we have now on our index page. And let's just start on converting the index page. If we look in pages index. So right now we have this top bar, so that'll have to go. And then we want to probably wrap these posts in a container like here and then have a sidebar and then another sidebar containing this discover people and random tags. Uh, let's first start with setting the top bar to only show on mobile. So yeah, we can say mobile only. And yeah, now that's gone. And let's create a container for these posts. We'll need a container component. I don't think I have one of those. So create container.tsx. This is good for now. Probably need to organize these in the future. So const container, that'll be a React functional component. And that will be equal to this. Now we basically just need to take in some children and return the children, wrap it in a div and say, give it some props. So in this case we want I container props interface and I container props. We want children and that will be a react react node. And doesn't like that because we aren't exporting anything. So export default container. We want this to have to basically shrink this down and center it. And this thing is 615 width. So we'll give it a max width of 615 pixels. Now let's actually see if that shrinks our stuff down. We need to import it, import container. I don't think it's, okay, so import container from components container. Okay, now we can wrap our posts in that. And this will be a container that's used for everything that wants to basically have this sort of structure where you have the sidebar and this discover and then something in the middle that could be settings that could be anything so we'll want to add a side nav to this container next to the children so let's let's uh we'll need to also create another sidebar for the other side too so let's say we probably need to wrap this in another div. That way we can kind of organize it. And this will be a flex so that we can, you know, get them all lined together and flex, flex columns. So let's just add the stuff that we want now. So we want the side. Uh, we'll just import it as side nav or side from side. And we'll just import it as side nav. Then uh, let's think about what we want on this. So we want we want the side nav to have a type of desktop. That way it shows up on desktops. And I already implemented that in the side nav. If we look in here, this takes in a type mobile or desktop. If it is desktop, then it just returns the content already rendered. And this content is just basically this block right here. And then on the if it's mobile, then it will pull out in a drawer and have a mask so it's you know like like uh this well since i've kind of goofed it up it's not working right now but you know you have to show, oh well now it's showing up like that that's what i meant okay so now that we got that working we will want to also give it well we want it to take up all of the room but we also want the content in the middle to be centered, you know, like we want um, this thing to be centered and then this side nav to push, push right. And then same with the nav, the side nav on this, this side, I, we wanted to push it left. So we'll call we'll create a new sidebar. And for now, we'll just say like, let's we'll give it a header of discover people. We need to import that. So import sidebar from 
sidebar. Okay, then um, we want to center all that stuff. So let's say justify center. Now that's centered, we want we want the post to take up all of the room it can. So now it's growing, and now it's it's centered like what we want, but it's not taking up the full full height. I don't think. So we'll need to say height is full, and also let's oh well we need to fix that modal too. So let me see. We also need to make it so the post update when you change the profile. Okay, so we don't want it to move up. You know, we want it to stay the same on right over here. So we'll say, we'll make it sticky and then say top of zero. That way it doesn't move. And I think that might, yeah, I think that might work. Okay, so now that's, that's good. And we want to do it on this side too. So we'll say class sticky top zero, uh, give it a full height. Okay, now only the post move, which is what we want. And so also we want we wanted a search bar up here like that. Let's go ahead and add that over in where the the posts are being rendered. Let's make a div and say. We want this to be flex, and also let's just give it a height. I think the top bars are 65 pixels, and we want to render an, actually let's yoink it from the auth. I should just make a standard input. I'll probably do that in the future. So let's just yoink this for now. And we also, we do not need a value on change for now. Placeholder of search jibber very nice and we let's look at that okay so it's taking up the full height so we probably want a margin on that we'll say make the padding on the x and then give a margin y that way it shrinks the top and bottom down and we'll try maybe we'll try actually we'll try maybe a two i don't know how that'll look I think we might need a little bit more room. So this is currently 49. This is 46. Yeah, maybe a margin of three was better. So let's give it that. And it's now 41. I kind of like it a little bit smaller rather than thicker, but, so, but we can change this later if we don't like it. Okay, let's take care of that modal now. If we look in the modal index, so why is this not centered? So we are getting a fixed bottom left, apps, or fixed, yeah, so it's fixed. And that applies to the mask and the content. If it's just a width full, would that, would that do anything? I guess we could try. Actually, let's just do a margin. That's probably the easiest. So margin x of auto. Okay, yeah, that pops it into the center. That's pretty much what we want. Use that. Very nice. Now let's also let's take care of that discover and we give it on the same height as as the post. Let's look in the container and we wanted to pop that down. So instead we'll just say a height of 70 pixels. That's good, and it doesn't, it's not on the same. Oh, it's 65. You always get confused, because at one point it was 70, but then I changed it to shrink it down. Okay, so now we also want to make this larger, so we'll say text large, and we'll say font semi bold. Okay, and we also want to give it a margin on either side, like the sidebars. So in this case, we'll say margin left, and what was it in here? It was 40 pixels, so we'll say 40 pixels. And then on the other side, we'll give it another margin, so margin right, and that is another 40 pixels. See how that turns out? Okay, I think that is looking, looking decent. If we go any further tonight. 
Maybe not. I think, um, I think I'm happy just getting the basics done. So stay tuned for the next videos, really getting this done. Thank you very much.